guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this look right here and I have to say I am in love. I made some purchases of Morphe brushes and I got a few brushes from there. Um, all over the place I have a mess right here but I got a few brushes from there I also got some shadows and I was really inspired by these three shadows right here so um, I decided to create this look which I actually didn't know what I wanted to do when I first sat down to film but I'm glad because I really like how it turned out um, these lashes are obviously super dramatic um, but if you wanted to keep it a little bit more simple you can obviously rock more natural lashes or you could just rock some mascara and be done but I think that the look overall is super beautiful so if you guys want to see how I got this look then keep on watching okay so my brows have been filled in so my eyes have already been primed as well I'm wearing max the long wear concealer on my eyelid working with the PH Cosmetics Party Girl palette as well as some Morphe eyeshadows that I just ordered and yeah let's go ahead and get started so, okay so for my transitional color I'm gonna be taking this brownish with like red undertones color right here and I'm just gonna use that like I said as my transitional color I am using a Morphe MB 23 brush So now, on top of this color, I'm going to be adding this Morphe Shadow, and it's like, it's a very intense orange flame, number 30 by Morphe, and I'm just going to take very little of this, um, this right on top of that um, brown, just add it. And I'm just using circular motions to pack this onto my crease or right above above the crease I'm not really pushing this onto my crease I just like I said want to create a nice transitional color like so okay and next I'm gonna take another Morphe shadow and this is in the color secretive I believe I used it today yeah secretive number 71 and it looks like this and I'm going to be using another Morphe brush. This is B79. And I am in love with this brush. It just helps you get like a very precise crease application. So I'm loving it. Okay, so I'm taking Secretive again. And I'm just taking that directly onto my crease. And I'm taking this. To like my inner third of the lid I don't want to take it more than a half of my lid is that correct yes so just onto the corner of my lid I don't want to drag it onto the inner or half of my lid because we're gonna apply we're gonna be applying another color on that part of the eye so I'm just packing this color and I'm just you know go back and forth to your liking and Again, I just want this color to be very intense. Back into Flame with that same um, MB23 brush. Again, very little product. And I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and blended. Next, I'm going to go back into the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to be grabbing this dark brown right here and I'm just going to place that on the, on the outer corners as well as a little bit onto the crease. I'm gonna take another Morphe brush. This one is E38, and I'm just gonna, it's clean, it doesn't have any additional product. I'm just gonna use it for blending this part right here. I'm 
next shadow is also a Morphe shadow. And this one is in the color Bronzed Ivy, number 78. And it looks like this. go back onto secretive and pass that on the crease just to make sure that everything is blended and then going back into flame just to add a little bit of more orangey tones guys this is not like my hairstyle I am uh, making sure that my curls stay so that I have some type of body on my hair but okay so now that that's done I'm gonna go ahead and add a color onto my um, Bravo and I'm gonna be taking the lightest color, this uh, like pearly color right here, tap off the excess and just take on the rest onto the brow bone. I'm gonna take a little bit onto the tear duct as well. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the rest of the face. Um, and then we will come back to the eyes. So my latest obsession has been Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour um, Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and mix it with my other latest obsession which is this Tarte Maracuja Oil. So I'm going to take just my foundation on the back of my hand and then um, add just one drop of my Maracuja Oil. Okay, so I'm gonna go. What is wrong with me? I'm gonna go on to my other latest obsession. I have quite a few obsessions lately, and I will talk about them more in depth in my February favorites. But for now, it is the Benefit Erase Paste. Super orange. Um, it's really, I really like it for under my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and just dab it onto my under eye area. Concealer in NC Pate 5. I'm just gonna put that right over the benefit. Taking my Real Techniques sponge and just it's a little bit damp, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out. done I'm gonna go ahead and move back onto the eyes taking the same Morphe brush and B79 and taking secretive I'm gonna take it 
on to my bottom lash line and I'm gonna only do half of the bottom lash line. I'm gonna take it onto the right onto the pupils. So okay and then going back onto the bronze ivy and packing that onto the inner half lower lash line. I'm gonna apply a coat of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Okay, so that is the coat. Now I'm gonna apply Urban Decay's Perversion Eye Glide On Eye Pencil onto my lower lash line. No. Onto my water one. Cry for me, Argentina. We're gonna add our falsies. And I'm excited about these falsies, guys. I feel like these are gonna be super dramatic. Alright, so I'm gonna apply some false lashes off camera and then I will be back. Um, another obsession is this collection exclusive by JLo from L'Oreal. And this is the color 370 Jennifer's Nude. So I'm gonna apply that. Oh, what happened to it? I don't know what happened to it, but it looks like this. I'm gonna put that all over my lips, my lip liner. Look the color. On top, and the gloss that I'm gonna be adding is a CoverGirl in Colorlicious number 620. I'm gonna put down my heart and I'll be right back. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.